friendly greetings welcome back to another video and today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to have like insanely good recording settings for obs and we're just gonna get into it so if you want your game looking like this nice and smooth you just go like this you know it looks wonderful um or just like honestly just like okay quality whatever whatever kind of computer you have i'm gonna show you guys how to get the best quality out of it and we're just gonna jump right into it okay so right here you have your obs right okay you do now you're just gonna go to settings in the bottom right it's not that difficult just just click on settings correct okay so once you're in settings you're going to want to um you know obviously english i like dark you can choose from all these honestly dark dark looks the best to me so i just use dark um and then you go to stream settings if you want to live stream just go on youtube you know service youtube gaming um primary youtube server right and then you put your stream key which you find on your um youtube live stream page we're not going to go into detail with that but we're going to go ahead and go to output this is where we're actually affecting everything now for streaming you're going to want your rate control to be cbr because we're going to actually explain why uh, um, once we get to recording but just trust me put it at cbr now some of you guys aren't going to be streaming but just in case you do stream i suggest like just copying these down now, unless you have a um, worse computer, so I have a GTX 1080 Ti, so obviously I'm going to have, you know, I have pretty good internet as well, so I'm going to have this at about 5,000. Now, if you have, like, okay internet and computer, I'd say, like, 3,000, and um, if you have, like, worse than that, you know, just put it a little bit below 3,000. Obviously, you can put your stream on unlisted and just, like, check out how it is. This is, this is you know, kind of important if you're going to live stream. So we go to quality. I don't think setting it at max quality for your live stream is necessarily um, the most important. So just set it on quality, profile high. I, oops, I didn't mean to check that. This is unchecked, this is checked, this is zero, this is two. Okay, so in recording, we're going to have CQP. Now this is very important. And the other one, I use CBR. If everyone's internet was absolutely perfect, then on their streaming, they would use CQP as well. But because everyone's internet is not perfect, we're not using CQP. And because because you don't have to live stream this, you can use CQP when you record. So it has to do with your internet, so just use CQP for recording. Now, I have my CQ level very high. This is actually very excessive. So I'm saying put it to like 15, um, you know, if you have like, okay. 20 if you have a pretty good computer. Um, like I just, you know, I just really care about like my recording settings. Um, but, like, if you have, like, a worse computer, probably just put it a little bit below 15. Obviously, you can check out with that. You know, like, um, test it out as well. So, just, like, record, stop recording, see what it looks like. All right, so max quality here because on recording, we're going to want it to be the best quality possible. We're going to want it high. Unchecked, checked, zero, two. Audio, it's not that important. I'd say just put your sample rate at 44.1, depending on what mic you're at. You have, you can look up what um, sample rate you should put in OBS if you want to as well. Um, but that's not really what we're doing for today's video. We're showing you how to look good for OBS settings. Now, right here, I do have um, something that might not apply to all of you guys. Now, I have a very good computer and I can run 240 um, FPS. But if you can't, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this fractional, I can't do it right now because I'm recording, take this fractional FPS value and just change it and just make it 60, um, just like, don't, you don't have to change this, you can just make it 60 over 1 and, um, probably make it a Lancos instead of bilinear because bilinear is really good for 240 FPS. Now, if you are going to use 240 FPS, yes, use 240 FPS, and then just go ahead and put it on, um, I don't even know how to say that, because I am illiterate. Okay, so lastly, we're going to advance. Now, this is kind of weird, because for some reason, it just works when my process priority is on below normal. I used to have it on high. I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference. Somebody just told me to put it on below normal, and it has been working for me but obviously you can just test out with this and see how it goes i'd say put it on below normal and if it's not working very well just up it you know here you can just copy um direct 3d 11 nv12 color space you're going to want it on 709 and um color range full so you get the best amount of like brightness and everything like that if you want it to be a little like bit um darker or like not darker but like not as full on color then um yeah you can obviously like change the color range to partial and color space to um 600 something i don't know what it, 
it is. Okay, so now, for those people that are actually doing 240 FPS, like I do, um, you're going to want to get Vegas Pro um, 15 right here. Um, you're going to want to get that, and you're going to want to render your videos on it. You can look up a tutorial on that. There are many things that I'm just not going to go through, but you can also um, render your videos on this because when you record in 240, you have to have it um, like rendered through and like compacted because YouTube can only um, it can only have on YouTube 60 FPS, but it will look smoother if you record in 240 and then compact it. So yeah, a lot of you guys did ask for my OBS settings, and that's going to be absolutely it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope it helped you guys out for anybody who like wants to make YouTube videos or anything like that. Um, good luck to you. I hope you do great. Remember to stay consistent because that's a big part of YouTube. Just a small tip. You can watch another video to the left or the right of me. The like goal is going to be 100 likes, and it will be right below my feet. Subscribe right above my head. Please turn on notifications. I post every single day on this channel. Remember to love your neighbor. And that's going to be it. Once again, peace. Don't talk about